Hi, this is Tomod and today I would like to talk about um, how I have uh, become, how I've learned, how I've understood and learned how I'm, I'm able to stop, to stop my thoughts, stop my thinking. Uh, recently I've talked to people many times uh, about the, the problem of excessive thinking uh, or thinking in itself uh, as a matter of fact that thinking in itself becomes this cancer you might call it thinking in itself becomes this pain this chase this burden this anxiety this drama this draining of self this draining of self from life juice with excessive thinking and always thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking some more there is like a draining of one's life going on so to understand to be to be able to stop one's thinking as it is it could be it would be it would be um, best to understand how does thoughts really occur for reals what is the process what is the detailed process that ignites or starts or what is that action going on there that creates or builds up a thought? What is that? So, me from having investigated destiny.org for uh, more than six years now, studying, reading, investigating, questioning, investigating some more, studying, testing out on myself and understanding the metaphysical uh, and physical and beyond <laughs> uh, concepts of this life of our minds and humanity and existence and life. So to put it in, bre in, in simple terms, in very simple terms, Thinking is a tiny, 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 tiny destruction of self, a separation. It is a tiny destruction of self. It is a tiny, tiny destruction and separation of self. It is beyond. I can laugh about it now because I understand this, but thinking in itself the kinds of thinking that can lead to excessive thinking and overthinking and psychosis and draining is a, a tiny, tiny destruction of the physical, a tiny, tiny destruction of the, the, the muscles, muscle tissue of one's body. It is a tiny, tiny separation of self so that when one go, goes into thinking and thought, thoughts as such, um, if, you, if you really dive into this, to learn this, you will find that thoughts in itself is self-destruction. Thoughts is self-destruction, self-sabotaging of the physical of self. That is a very simple outlining of what thoughts are. And a very sane, I might add. For about one or two or maybe three years of my process, I have, and, I, and, and to a certain degree, I'm still stopping my thoughts. Um, now, this is not done overnight. This is not done overnight. 
but if you want to quit your thinking, stop the excessive thought, thought, thought thoughts, stop the cancer of self, stop the destruction of self. If you would like to stop the destruction of self, and I'm not joking here, I'm really, really serious, because if you would like that, check out destiny.org and, you know, go go into studying and understanding our message. A process of self-forgiveness is inevitable. A process of self-forgiveness is inevitable. And the way that I have learned myself some mental tricks after having walked some, what shall I say, miles of forgiving some constructs within me, some constructs that have led me to excessive thinking, voices in the head, nasty, irritating backshots in my mind thoughts. I have been working to stop nasty backshots in my head, voices in my head, thoughts. And I have been stopping them and deleting the personality that they are projected out of. So that A sentence that I would learn myself is this sentence, something like this here. Whenever I feel like, oops, there is a thought coming, there is a thought coming, I must do something, there is a thought coming, emerging from my mind. I'm, doing my, I'm making coffee, I'm doing dishes, I'm eating food, doing, I'm doing something, and there's this thought almost coming up in me, you know. What I would do is I say, stop, I am here, I have heaven within, or stop, I am here, I have he I am heaven as breath. And to, to bring myself to a, a word of stop, and I say and I say to myself in words, stop, I am here, stop, I am here. To be fully present in my body, to be responsible in my body when I say these words. And I say, stop, I am here, I am, I am heaven as breath. To bring myself back to the physical, to stop the mind and the metaphysical from fucking up my reality, from fucking up my life, literally. To stop my mind from fucking up my life with thoughts and excessive thinking and I say stop I am here I am heaven as breath that is what I've been saying because the physical is my temple and the physical is where uh, the real reality is the creation the healing the life the, you might say positive parts are while the metaphysical is just fling fling and bling bling and you know a cave of wonder you might say a cave of wonder yes the mind is a cave of wonder yes but that takes time to discover there are layers and layers and layers and layers of mind systems like we know individually so what I would do, once I understand what a thought is, once I understand how a thought occurs, when I, once I understand how a thought occurs in the back of my mind, I can say, stop, I am here, I am heaven as breath. I don't want to go into reactions. I can say, stop reaction, stop reactions, I am here, I am heaven as breath. Stop reacting, I am here, I am heaven as breath. And bring myself out of the mind box 
into the body box or the body organs or the body torso or the whole me you might say the whole me the being me the bird me the whatever not the mind me not the picture not the fantasy but my physical my reality bring myself out of that possession out of that psychosis out of that reaction into my my physical my heart my liver and so on to ground myself to hug a tree to hug a person and just say you know i just discovered what a thought is or just say to somebody i just discovered how a thought can occur within me what are the dimensions behind thinking dimensions behind thinking is that a thought in itself is a separation of the physical <laughs> yes you heard right and that's why it feels so draining it feels so draining to overthink oh my goodness a thought is a tiny tiny destruction of self So, what I say is stop, stop reacting, I am here, I am heaven as breath, I am heaven as breath, because I am here to create utopia, I am here to create a better me, I am here to create a better world from my physical, from the starting point of myself, I am here to start a better me living outwards from within so without if you have questions feel free to ask question, questions questions uh, please share this video if you like if you like what you heard let's share the good message let's do what we can to bring uh, good for all solutions to to the to the world to ourselves to everybody Let's be our, our, our best friends. Let's, let's forgive ourselves and be the best versions of ourselves that we can be. Because we can. Thank you.